This is Dingus. Dingus is a deep reinforcement learning AI cube. Now with hands. Dingus learns by exploring the world and seeing through a bunch of sensors, visualized on this screen as the flashing lines and spheres. Inspired by the ancient Greek tale of Sisyphus. Wait, no, Sisyphus. A king who was punished by cheating death by being forced to roll a massive boulder up a hill, only for it to roll back down every time it nearly got to the top. The challenge is for Dingus to push a boulder uphill, mostly, across a series of eight increasingly difficult levels, full of an assortment of difficult obstacles. Dingus is motivated by a reward function that gives him positive rewards as he gets further in a level, and negative rewards for falling off the mountain or losing his boulder. Will Dingus Sisyphilus accomplish all of his Herculean trials, or will he simply wind up as a purple paste on the bottom of the mountain? There's only one way to find out. Let's get to training. And so, a new Dingus is born into the world. Clueless about everything, he begins to explore and interact with his environment to figure out what gets him good rewards. After fondling the boulder for a moment and moving it slightly closer to the goal, he will likely associate the reward he's getting with pushing that boulder ever closer to the end of the level. Then, the ball rolls off the stage. When the ball falls off of the stage, Dingus gets a negative reward, which should teach him to try and keep the ball safe, at least over time. Now we're going to speed things up for a bit here. It's going to take time for Dingus to learn the fundamental ways in which he can engage with his environment and what gets him good rewards, which we will see in Fast Forward. Oh, actually, let's stop for one second. I, <laughs> I don't know how he did that. As we continue to watch Dingus, we see that he's still taking a while to figure out that he needs to continue to push the boulder. Consider him basically like a baby that doesn't even know how to interact with his environment properly. It will take him a while to figure out that he can continue to push something up a hill. After a few more tries, we get this run, where Dingus finally realizes he needs to continue to push the boulder. Until suddenly getting afraid of it or something? I'm not sure. He then begins to seemingly panic, realizing that he needs his ball, but it is far too gone at this point. And then finally, we have this one. Honestly, Dingus, not bad. Considering he had to not just figure out how to solve this level, but also how to even get rewards and move the boulder properly, that's a pretty good pace of learning. But there was absolutely no obstacles to him in this first level. The later ones have many more challenges to overcome. Dingus will have to figure out that other boulders are not good and that he needs to avoid them before he has any chance of succeeding. However, his first attempt actually goes extremely well, getting pretty close to the top before the ball is finally knocked out of his hand. His second attempt honestly goes way more amusingly. Seemingly out of a desperate attempt to dodge that first boulder, he goes way too wide and just falls off the edge. <laughs> Alright then, Dingus, what about this one? Have you learned enough to make it through? Apparently not. He lost the ball in the exact same way as before and catches a boulder for his troubles. At this point, it's not quite clear if he actually knows he needs to avoid the boulders. What about this run? He's clearly more actively dodging them now. A late swerve nearly costs him everything, but he still manages to get through to the end. A stylish finish, Dingus. Our next level introduces a new obstacle for Dingus. Slopes and drops. Dingus has to learn how to account for falling off an edge, as well as dealing with different angled slopes. So far, he's only ever had to push a boulder directly uphill. Now they can also have slants. I'm curious to see how long it takes him to learn how to accommodate for these. It's honestly pretty hard to tell if he's improving much at this. One run does go a bit further than the others, but then suddenly, we get a good run. But what do you know? That didn't take long at all. But they really start ramping up in difficulty from now on. This level really requires that Dingus becomes a lot better with his dexterity. He has much smaller paths that he needs to push this ball through. And amusingly, at the start, he doesn't even seem to really know how to collect a ball that isn't right in the center of the stage. That's an interesting thing to uncover. You never know what slight changes might trip up an AI. This is the first one where he figures out how to actually pick up the ball. And, uh, honestly, not too bad, Dingus. Oh, no, never mind. With each new run now, we can see successive improvements. He seems to be learning this level very quickly, much quicker than I honestly thought he would. Has he finally learned enough to get to the end?
No, but he got an amazing spin on his fall. All right, then. What about one more shot, Dingus? Okay, he did that one as well. And did pretty fast time. But this is the end of what I'd call the easy levels. Everything from this point on is much harder. Level 5 might seem deceptively simple, but it actually forces Dingus to learn something that he's never had to do before. Wait. The rate at which these boulders fall down makes it impossible to weave between them without actually pausing. This is something Dingus has never had to do before. He's always just been able to go at full speed pushing the boulder. Although that being said, in the very next run, he obviously learns to wait for a little bit. I've fallen, and I can't get up! We can see Dingus is having a lot of trouble ever getting back to that second platform. Finally, we get another shot at it. Yeah, not quite. Now I'm going to pause the action one last time to explain just one other thing. The dingus you are watching is not the only dingus training at this time. There are, in fact, 54 other dinguses training in the exact same level at the exact same time, all feeding their experiences and learning into the one model at the same time. This accelerates the learning process in basically a linear fashion, making the training 54 times faster, which is good, because 54 times slower would be super boring. Dingus just keeps trying. Old Sisyphus style. But unfortunately, he's just not making much progress. He's always getting stuck at the exact same point. This is an interesting one, though. Dingus gets clipped as he tries to dodge the original boulder. He fumbles his own boulder and can't get it back. He is so confused. <laughs> Dingus keeps trying. But the second platform is a huge roadblock for him. He just really struggles to wait. Dingus is impatient, and he wants everything now. This ending's great, though. He loses his ball, and then he's just completely flummoxed, ready to suddenly get completely smashed off the road. Soon, though, we get another promising run. Oh no, Dingus, so close. It does seem that he's made some sort of breakthrough though, because here's the very next run. He still tries to brave that boulder, it's just this time it doesn't send him flying. He uses that gap in time to actually go and speed ahead. He then waits again for the next boulder and muscles his way through. I mean, that was a bit scuffed, but it was a legitimate success, and he did wait on two out of three of the platforms. So, maybe he mostly understood? Anyway, next level. This is the ultimate slope level. Winning this level will require that Dingus learns to approach different slopes at different angles, and with different entry points. I expect this to be one of the harder challenges for Dingus. I just, I have, I have no idea what he was thinking with this one. That was crazy good progress. I did not expect him to pick up on that so quickly. That was so crazy clean. I did not expect Dingus to figure this level out so quickly. Now there are only two remaining levels. Unconvinced that Dingus did actually figure out how to dodge boulders, I introduced this new level. Wait. 
Wait, did did Dinkus just get knocked upside down? Wait, and he's still going. <laughs> it has a much more aggressive slope than any other level in the game, which means his progress will be incredibly slow. Yep, it sure seems like Dingus doesn't really know how to dodge boulders properly. Let's put this on fast forward and see how long it takes him. Oh, he's upside down again. Dingus has gotten a lot better at this course. His big issue is just being too slow now. That time limit is finally actually coming to effect in this level. Once he gets to the top, all he needs to do is then push the ball down this slide. Oh, he, uh, he wasn't meant to go on the slide with the ball, but I guess that works too. Well done, Dingus! And with that, there's only one level left. But it is by far the hardest level. specifically designed this one to be much harder than all the others. And so begins Dingus's hardest challenge. He did it! The little cube figured it out. Thank you everyone for watching. <laughs>